Hi everybody, very welcome back to Mentor and yet another video podcast. I hope you're all doing fantastic. So today I just wanted to make a short podcast about a question that I've been getting lately, okay? The question is, is it more dangerous to fly a smaller commercial aircraft like a turboprop than a larger commercial aircraft like a 737 or a 777 or a Boeing 747 or an Airbus um, 330? Now, I'm going to keep this very short. The answer to that is no. It's not. All right. Smaller aircraft are smaller aircraft for one particular reason. It's because they're used on shorter routes where there's not as much um, passengers to fly. All right. The smaller aircraft, particularly turboprops, uh, they are kept at the exact same maintenance schedule as the bigger aircraft. They have to go through the same kind of checks. The pilots are equally trained. Um, they are smaller and they have propellers because they need to fly maybe to airports that are smaller, shorter runways. Uh, and because of that, they are more economical on the shorter routes with the turboprops. Now, the propellers in themselves, um, they have propellers, but they're actually jet engines. Okay. Now, I'm talking about the, the, the commercial aircraft. Now, I'm not talking about the smaller Cessnas and so on. I'm talking about bigger commercial aircraft that maybe takes uh, 20, 30 passengers or so on. They actually have jet engines that are running the propeller. So instead of having a big fan, which you see inside of the, uh, the jet engines, they have a jet engine that's running the propeller, which means that they are exactly as safe. They have the same kind of service life and stuff like a jet engine does. So um, to answer the question, if it's in any way more dangerous to fly a smaller commercial aircraft than a bigger commercial aircraft, I would say that from turboprops and up, not really, okay? they are kept at exactly the same standard. So if you're flying a smaller aircraft, let's say you're going out with a Saab 2000 or something like that, you do not have to worry, okay? They sound a little bit more, they might be a little bit more shaky because smaller aircraft has less energy, which means that they are more subject to the environment. So there might be a bit more turbulence, but when it comes to the actual safety of the aircraft, uh, that is not gonna be an affected, right? So. Don't worry about that, guys. I hope that answers your question. Like I said, I wanted to keep this really short. Uh, when it comes to even smaller aircraft than that, so if we're talk, starting to talk about uh, piston um, aircraft, piston driven, then yes, with piston driven aircraft, then they are, they're not more dangerous as in they're still under very, very intense scrutiny when it comes to checking the maintenance manuals, checking, making sure that the engines are at their good service life and that every component that is broken is being replaced but but piston engines are less reliable than jet engines are so piston engines sure you might have a little bit more um, chances of an engine failure but since you have two of them as well generally it doesn't include much increased risk where the, the risk can increase a little bit is um, when people are flying small single engine propeller aircraft they're still extremely safe okay but I'm, I'm working on a scale here but of course since you have a combination of both one engine and a um, piston engine then there is a slightly high risk involved and when you're starting to fly privately so you're flying with pilots who maybe are not as trained and has a little bit less experience then the risk goes up a little bit as well but then, once again, I want to really emphasize that the risk is still small. If you compare it to going out to driving a motorcycle, for example, or even going in a car or a bus, you're still talking about something that's fairly safe, okay? So, people are always asking me these things. So, you know, is, that, is it dangerous to fly this or is it dangerous to fly that? If you're flying with a well-trained pilot in a well-maintained aircraft, it's among the safest things that you can do. So that's the answer to that, guys. Um, please continue to send in your questions. It's great to see you guys interacting. I'm gonna to try to do more live shows as well. And uh, I will not be able to tell you in beforehand when I'm gonna do the live stream because I only do it when I have a chance to do it and when the internet connection here in Spain is stable enough for me to do it. So it's just gonna pop up. But those of you who are in there and interacting, it's great to see. Make sure that you go and download my application, Mentor360, because it's helping me fund my next project. My next project is something that you are really going to like, okay? So go in, 
Go into App Store, go into Google Play Store, download Mentor360 now. You are helping this channel and you're helping the Mentor360 program going forward by doing so. And if you do it and you like it, which almost everyone who's downloaded has, then go into the App Store, make sure you write a review and give it a grading because that really helps the visibility of the application. For now, have a fantastic day. Take care of your loved ones around you and I'll see you next time.